I want you guys to answer the five W's of your project. Who is it for? What is it? Where is it going to be? When do they need it by? And why? When you live in an urban environment, there is a lot of advertisement, a lot of branding coming your way. Any kind of interaction is reliant on a visual language. So if you can kind of contribute in some way, making sure that you're being represented. The visual language no longer is just about consumption, but it's about participating in it in a different way. This is the third installment of Higher Sales and Arts Education program, working with small businesses and teens. For me, it was really about coming back to the Bronx, to the place where I grew up, a place that means a lot to me, but also a site in which the idea of migration is ever present. Over the course of eight weeks, the teens who were part of the program came up with sketches to redesign the visual language of La Morada. La Morada is one of the few locally owned restaurants in Mount Haven in the South Bronx. This is a community-based site. It's a place you can kind of rely on, not just for food, but they also have a very socially conscious agenda. For me, I felt that it was a perfect match. All right, guys. Natalia and Marco and Yahaira and their family, the owners of La Morada, came here from Oaxaca. Te hace sentir como que estás en tu casa, como en un país. El sabor de la comida, la gente, cómo te recibe. The studio for the project was within walking distance of the restaurant. So there was a lot of back and forth between what the participants were discussing, what they were brainstorming, and bringing that to the restaurant physically. So right now I have like the traditional Mexican colors, but also like making it Bronx specific. I think that that would be a good idea. You could even do like a, like a Bronx side and then like a Mexican side. Yeah. I think that would be cool. Having fun? Yeah. Mira, él hizo la letra y la casa atrás. Está bonito. Y como como una casa del Bronx. Al final voy a decir creí en ellos. Y ese va a ser mi lema hasta que ustedes terminen. We have just two small plots here at the at the local um, community no? garden. This is like on the same block, right, that at the restaurant, we just rent right around the corner. And so whatever we can use to source locally, it's better, it's healthier. You know where your food comes from, you know, it's not mass produced. And it also helps us reconnect to where we came from, because where we're from, you would grow everything. Initially, I thought we were going to talk about gentrification, that we we're going to talk about political issues that are affecting us all in the Bronx. It turned out that the teens were more interested in making sure that the family story was being told. In the storefront, it's like they're coming from Mexico to here. So, so, there's, like, so there's both ideas. We ended up coming up with three projects. One was a window display that details the story of the family. We did one side using the sun from Mexico, and we did the other side using a brick building so a little bit of the Bronx and a little bit of Oaxaca, Mexico. The second piece is a tote bag, and that's something that the restaurant wanted from the beginning. Marco nos dijo que quería hacer una bolsa ecológica, entonces lo que nosotros hicimos fue incluir la naturaleza en la bolsa para que se luego tuviera que ver con eso y con el restaurante. The third project, which was the more ambitious project, was to redesign their awning. And the, the business was really happy to offer that as a blank canvas, basically. What's missing from these people? A facial expression. So in the storefront, they were very conscious of this idea of movement. They want to represent uh, Mexico through its natural landscape, and they wanted to represent the Bronx through its urban environment. And so when you look at the storefront, you see these two people moving from one place to another. And this duality really was something that kept coming up within the work that they made. Hi everybody, uh, thank you all for coming to celebrate the work that we did over the summer. This kind of project would not have existed without you. 
It was always part of the project to make sure that there was a celebration of our accomplishment. Show that there, is, there are resources within our own community that we can use to propel a, a sense of agency within one another. You know, show that there is value with what we have to offer already. For me, it was always important to make sure that it came off as a collective vision that came from this long process so that when people see it in the public, it's not reliant on anyone's ego or any one single vision. It was something that was collectively imagined. When I pass by the restaurant, I see it all the time and it reminds me that there's so many opportunities out there for us to be a part of our own environment, not just as consumers and as observers, but active participants.